Hello, this is Gary D. Tonincourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Today I want to talk about the Nick Collection and how you can use it as a standalone program or you can use it as a plug-in for Lightroom or Photoshop. And we'll talk about some of the advantages or disadvantages to each. So... <laughs> So here I've opened my image and I can try out different effects till I find one that I like. And then of course you always have options over here on the right to make adjustments to those effects. Now once you find something you like, you can hit save, but if you do that here you're going to copy over your original image. So if you want to be a little bit non-destructive or save your original one at least, you have to go to File, Save As, and you can pick a new file name, and that way you'll get to keep your original image and this new image. All right, so that's how you can use this as a standalone program if you don't have another program like Lightroom or Photoshop. So I'll cancel out of that. Now we'll go over to Lightroom, and I'll just pick an image. And this time I'm going to right-click on it, and then go to edit in and then here you'll see all of my plugins so that's one way to get to it in Lightroom another way would just be to go to photo and then come down to edit in and then here are all my plugins so if I go to color effects 4 this time it's actually going to ask me if I want to use the a copy with Lightroom adjustments so this time I don't need to worry about saving as or anything it's already gonna have a copy it's preparing a file. I have it set to prepare a TIFF file, and it should work, uh, although I found some of the programs didn't always work with the TIFF file. Sometimes you have to output it as a JPEG. And uh, if you watch my video about how to install it in Lightroom, you'll see sort of which programs only worked with the JPEG and which ones did work with the TIFF file. All right, so here it's preparing it and sending it over to um, Color Effects. Okay, so it has applied an effect, actually, that looks pretty good on this photo. Again, you can make adjustments to this and tweak this with these controls over here. And then, of course, now you would just hit Save to save this effect. I've already saved this effect, so I'm not going to. Um, you'll see uh, in the next step when we use Photoshop, there will be an advantage to using Photoshop over Lightroom. So this time... I can go right from Photoshop or I can use Lightroom and send it to Photoshop. So the third method we'll be looking at here is Photoshop. So I'm going to go to right click on the image. I'm going to go to edit in and then to Photoshop. It'll still ask me if I want to make a copy with Lightroom adjustments and I do. So now it's making that TIFF file and sending it over to Photoshop. I have installed Nick into Photoshop, so I can come down and find color effects. Here it is, and click on it. Now you'll see it'll add a new layer and a mask. So this is one of the big advantages of using it with Photoshop, because now we can be real selective about how we use this effect. All right. So here um, it's applied the same effect, but maybe I don't want to have the effect on all of the image. So what you can do because it has the layers in Photoshop is you can brush it on to just where you want it. So if I click brush, it's going to save the file and send it back to Photoshop and it'll allow me to use a brush tool which will alter my mask and only put the effect where I want it to go. So you can see here it's saving, it's added my layer and my layer mask. And now it gives me the option to fill. If I hit fill, it'll put it everywhere, which is like what I was doing before. Or if I hit paint, I can just put the effect where I want it. All right, so I'm going to make the brush a bit bigger. And uh, just quickly brush that in. And I'm going to... Get that all in there nice and quick. 
Okay, now the other advantage to this is if I overspray, you can see here I got some pink on the lighthouse. There is an erase tool. Because we are using a mask, this is easy to do. I can make my brush smaller and I can take that pink part off of the lighthouse. And I can see I, I did miss over here, so I'll put that back in. So my mask is totally customizable and that's a big advantage. All right, once I have something I like, I can just hit apply and it'll apply that to this layer. So the other advantage to this is since it's on a layer is that I can adjust the opacity. If I think the overall effect is too strong, I can use the opacity slider and back it off some and just get a small effect out of it. All right, then instead of having to save it because I sent it from Lightroom, all I have to do is click this little X. It will send it back to Lightroom all processed up. It will save it. And I'll go back to Lightroom, and here we'll see the effects that we have made. So here you can see the effect from when I did it in Lightroom. And it's a stronger effect that was applied everywhere. And here you can see the effect when I did it in Photoshop, where I was able to paint it in just where I wanted it. And I was able to lighten the effect so it's not so strong in the sky. So again, there's three ways you can use it, and it's a great plugin no matter what, so give it a try. Again, this is...